Ladies, listen up. Our next guest is melting hearts and mozzarella all over the country. Oh. <laughs> Daniel Churchill is the brains behind best-selling book, Dude Food, helping men out in the kitchen. Now he's dishing up his latest project. He's the Aussie surfer with a passion for fitness and food. Daniel Churchill is a personal trainer, cook and part-time model. Welcome to my tips and tricks on how to make my breakfast frittata. I'm here to tell you that healthy cooking isn't meat and too bad, it's not boring, you know, it's full of colour, so much you can do, so much variety. The 24-year-old first hit the spotlight as a contestant on MasterChef. He then released his first cookbook, Dude Food, helping Aussie men refine their culinary skills. The chapters are like how to impress a girl, the hangover cure, sandwich in the gym, so really a guide template, essentially. So it's got fish stock, lime. Today, Dan is encouraging everyone to get into the kitchen and live a healthy lifestyle through his online cooking tutorials and latest cookbook, The Healthy Cook. And yes, ladies, he's single. <laughs> Thanks for that, Cotty. And Sydney's most eligible bachelor, Dan, joins us now. Dan, good morning. Well, good morning, guys. How are you um, going? What are you cooking for us today? So today we're going to do an eye fillet steak. Uh, I'm going to accompany that with a nice salsa verde and some honey roasted tomatoes. So um, I'm just going to get Koshi. I reckon you can get straight into the tomatoes for yep, me. Yep, too right. All right, so straight into this pre-ovened, uh, obviously, at 180 degrees. Right. Um, tomatoes straight into a... Uh, roasting tray with some salt. I want you to drizzle over some honey for me. Drizzle it over. Drizzle. Okay. You know, do what Easy. you want to do. And you know right. what? I want you to add as much as you want. Oh, okay. okay. So it's that, open book. That could book. be very dangerous. Oh, no, no. Now, Sam, so what I'm going to get you to do, look for our salsa verde ingredients, I'm just going to get you to combine that onto this beautiful blender we have here. So you just had me to... Oh, wow. I love salt. Oh, wow. <laughs> what have you do? done? Oh, but you're being silly. There you go. So I want you to pick, seriously peel them off, do what you need to do, tear them, right. get them straight into that thing for me. You've got some anchovies, some fresh herbs, oh, some mint, so some basil. Yeah, nice. Get your arm into it. Get into it. Yeah, nice. Oh, there we go. Do you want me to touch the anchovy? Yeah, yeah. Are you alright with that? I'll forget that, that later right? on and I'll... Okay, beautiful. Um, yeah, no, we love anchovies. Beautiful. Okay. Some, um... We've got some uh, capers and some cornichons in there. So just yeah. squeeze a bit of lemon juice. Make sure you filter when you when you do that. Oh, you got it. You got it. This is technique. technique. This technique. Just do that. Oh, you got it. And always is that a touch how you of salt. Keep See, I just go in with a teaspoon later on and get the pips. Out. Whatever works, yeah. If you want to do that, <laughs> you know that's why cooking's so cool. You can be as uh, influential oh, as you want on well, yourself. Let's keep going. Now, earlier I've actually seasoned these steaks because I wanted to get a nice crust on them. <laughs> oh, gosh, gosh, you're, you're you killing it. Right? Oh, you're killing it. Oh, sorry. You're interested goes, in me yeah, now. Sorry, mate. Hey, sorry, honey. Okay. Right. Sorry. Okay. All right. All right. So this goes. <laughs> I've seasoned these steaks. That's you two carry yeah, on. Yeah, nice. Now, Dan, can you help me turn it on, Blue? Have you got? Oh, this is it. This is. Can you, 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 can there you go. Now again, I want you to be as adventurous as you like, as, add okay. as much olive oil. I won't do as Great much. Great for Omega, you know, really good for your fats in that sense. Yum. Okay, so steaks. <laughs> now, do you know how to cook the steak? Tell Koshy, us, come over here. Come over here, Koshy. Come over here, mate. All right, go. Tell us uh, the recipe for a perfect steak. Perfect steak? Um, well, I actually got this on off Heston. Season the steak early. Heston. Yeah, Heston. Heston. Oh, you got Yeah, i got to hang out with him. So, yeah, you know, I know. I know, first name <laughs> basis. Yeah, geez, God. Hess. Um, okay, so season the steaks early. Got a little moisture out of the the top part of it and obviously the bottom as well. I'm right. going to put that straight on, but before I do that, I'm actually going to brush it with a little bit of infused right. oil. Oh, lovely. Okay, like that. And I've got a little time. Now, brush do you, there do as you well. constantly turn your steak or I do, do you have a thing that says one side for 90 seconds, the other? I go 15 <clears> seconds at <throat> side because I don't oh. want the sensor to, like, even the edges to cook. I want the, oh. I want the very top to get a nice crust, yeah. but the most of it to, to remain quite red. So you do this, you, you clip them for 15 seconds um, in a pan. Make sure you, you get a bit of a movement early on so it just doesn't stick. And then you obviously with this infused brush that I've got, which is thyme and rosemary and a little bit of infused oil. What a great idea. Yeah, just like that. So you don't marinate it in um, in oil before? No, I don't think so. Like, I didn't actually add any oil to the pan either because I've already got the oil there. So yeah. I'm constantly brushing it. And as I said, every 15 seconds, just turn it, get a bit of movement in. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. That's good? Okay, cool. Did you like that movement, Sam? 
Is that, is that a bit of movement? Sorry, Koshi, mate. I feel like you're, right. Do you feel you're left out? Yeah, I feel like the third wheel. Oh, okay. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Right. Right. Sorry, mate. You'll be right, Dan. Okay, so as always, just keep rushing and turning. And once you, you know... How's that blender going, so? <laughs> oh, well, I think I may <laughs> have broken it, but I've... Okay. I, I, That's all. Right. Uh, take this off for me. It's all... Oh, yeah, you, you're killing it. You're killing it. Push down a bit. Kill, I'm killing it. <laughs> That's it. Push down a bit. So 15 seconds each side for about two minutes. And I've obviously prepared some earlier. Right, just for you, Koshi. Terrific. Mate, I want you to cut into these for me. All right. right. And hopefully they're to your liking. With a big knife? Yeah, mate, you go all out. Go what you okay. want to do. And you do it on the side like that? No, no, no. I reckon go, go centre. Go centre. So cut right through. Yeah, make sure. Where's the camera? Where are we looking at? Right. Because it's got to be dude food, oh, Koshi. Beauty. So it's got to be big chunky. That's it. And then when you're plating up, mate, because of your tomatoes that you um, lightly seasoned with your salt earlier, and they're very right. lightly seasoned, yeah. you're just going to plate that up. Maybe let's go this chopping board over here. All right, do the second one too. Yeah, why not? Okay. This Just smells beautiful, this little salsa that I'm It's really beautiful. cool, huh? Mm. It's why are you trying to attract attention again? <laughs> He's actually talking to me about the oh, meat. Sorry. And you're Not saying, you oh, <laughs> gee, I love my salsa. Excuse me for sorry. a second, Kosh, as I get in here. Sorry to interrupt, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, that's all right. Okay, so we've got the tomatoes. I'm just going to seriously serve that up. They've been, that would have been in the oven for about, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, right. And then just, you know, because of the natural the sugar they have in themselves, plus a little bit of the honey to sweeten it, it brings out a really beautiful flavour. You can finish with a bit of seasoning of salt, um, fresh herbs as well. And you can just serve it like, oh, yeah, this is serve it like that on a breadboard. That's 100%. a hundred percent. Like you don't have to be too, you know, creative. But you know, I went out on a challenge. It was pretty much me and my presentation. So yeah. I guess this represents that. And now, well, do you want to use so mine or do you want to use the one you've already? So let's go. Let's go. You did an amazing on. job. Thanks. You did an amazing Thanks, job. Dan. We're going to have this one a bit earlier. Amazing All right. <laughs> so, Koshi, actually, you want to play it up? You want to play it up? I love the way how you're, all you've done up? is is stick it on a bit of board. Yep. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> that's a great idea, Dan. Put it on a bit of wood. That's he, all. He top, would you, yeah, go, go would you have thought to top. do that at yeah. home, Koshy? No. It's the it's the new no, age. Leave, the leave, leave it on a chopping board. Yeah. Look at that. I would have said, How what do you is that? look at that presentation? <laughs> I reckon you've done yeah. it right there. There we go. I reckon your sister would love that. Yep. <laughs> and a little spring of salt, and there you go. Excellent. That is fantastic. Well done, guys. Brilliant. I'm high, I'm high. You've got a great mark because it's basically blokes your age isn't yeah. it, who get intimidated by cooking. That's right. And it's great food for them. That's it. Like, at the end of the day, my, my goal is just to inspire people to cook and then hopefully cook healthy. Yeah. But, you know, um, there's definitely a market where guys just, they get intimidated. But I tell you what, if you want to impress a girl, definitely learn um, because it, it helps. Well, it's worked today. That's for <laughs> sure. Right. Yeah, the, the proof is here. It's good. Dan, no, good I to see you, mate. Young, young, young men are uh, into cooking. I think. Thank you. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. She, <laughs> she likes the French way to kiss Oh, does she? Yeah. Should we? Should we? Stop it. What? Dan. <laughs> Gosh, you instigated this. is terrible. Serious? Dan Churchill's cookbook, <laughs> The Healthy Cook, will be in stores this week. Will be a great Christmas present if you have a sort of 15 to 25 year old who doesn't cook. It's the way to do it. Makes cooking cool. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Dan. Thanks, that man.